Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, has filed his petition at the Presidential Elections Tribunal in Abuja. Reports has it that this was made known in a statement via Twitter in the early hours of Tuesday, March the 21st, by the chief spokesman of the Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council, Yunusa Tanko. He noted that the process of Peter Obi reclaiming the people's mandate has commenced. He wrote, it is official. The Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, has filed his petition to the Presidential Elections Tribunal in Abuja. The process of reclaiming the people's mandate has started. Recall that Mr. Peter Obi, who came third in the election, and Mr. Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, who came second as separately challenging the outcome of the February 25th election in court. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, said, has said that the ongoing governorship and state assembly elections recorded low turnout because of the outcome of the February 25th presidential election. He alluded that this was why Nigerians refused to come out to vote. Obi said, the results of the presidential election did not reflect the people's wishes. Hence, the voter apathy recorded in the ongoing elections. He said in a chat with reporters at his Amatutu polling unit in Agulu Anocha local government area of Anambra State. He said, the electorates were discouraged to come out to vote because of what happened in the last poll that did not reflect the people's wish. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular uh, news story as it were? Well, let's take the first main point, which is the fact that the, pre, the Mr. Peter Obi has, as it is now, submitted or filed his um, uh, petition before the election tribunal. And that is uh, the first step, or uh, the, the, yes, the first step in actually going to reclaim his mandate. They have been at a uh, log ahead with INEC over the past few weeks or days, as it were, on inspecting the uh, election materials that were used in the February 25th um, election, as it were. But however, it is not, um, we cannot confirm if INEC made available all the necessary materials or all the materials as promised by INEC. Recall that we brought you the news that INEC had said that they are open to releasing all materials to the Labour Party lawyers and delegation for them to inspect. As of some few days ago, it was just only about um, two materials, according to reports, that had been released. And the lead counsel for Mr. Peter Obi's, um, uh, um, um, you know, uh, lawyer or the lead counsel, the lead lawyer, had said that he could not build an entire case based on the. Um, materials made available to him. The question is, why would INEC come out to the public to tell the public that they were going to release all materials and that they had nothing to hide? But unfortunately, they were not releasing the materials or they, were, they did not release the materials to the Labour Party candidate or uh, our delegation, as it were, knowing fully well that they had a limited time to cite these materials and build their cases on the election petition. Well, it remains to be seen 
what grounds were presented or on what grounds did the Labour Party built its case on and how they intend to fight, to push and pursue those in the court of law. The question that follows is how many, uh, on how many grounds are they presenting their cases or their charges? What does the law say about it? And what will be the outcome of this election. Can Peter Obi uh, turn things around in the court of law or at the appeal? It remains to be seen. In as much as there are lots of people who probably would want such to happen, but it seems unlikely because in the history of Nigeria presidential election, the tribunal had never obtained a sitting president. In as much as Peter Obi has benefited from, you know, the petition tribunal while he was governor, he was impeached and he went to court and um, eventually he won and returned back as governor of the state. Now it is happening at the presidential level. Does Peter Obi has what it takes? Will Peter Obi be able to turn things around to reclaim the mandate from the APC candidate? It remains to be seen. As to the reason why people refuse to turn out en masse, you would agree with me that Peter Obi is spot on because even prior to the governorship election, a lot of people had already started threatening. And also, if you looked at the trend of things after the presidential election, uh, before uh, INEC postponed the governorship election by one week, that postponement to a very large extent, can be said to have given, you know, some parties um, ample time to further plan on how to uh, go about the election or probably rig the election because there was voter apathy, there was violence, intimidation, especially in Lagos State, Kano State, and some other states, probably River State, if you ask me, where people were told if you're not voting for a particular um, a political party, you should not come out. It is really, really sad and unfortunate because this is not the politics that Nigerians should be um, seeing or experiencing at this critical time in the life of the country. But it is what it is, guys. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things eventually turns out. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it.